this is Rosa Kelly and I have here a quick little mini album that I created for my niece and this album was really quick and easy to do and I kind of did the same thing the same process that I did when I created the Hawaiian mini album which is this one this album I have a walkthrough video of how I did this and it is basically the same concept of you know I didn't really measure anything I kind of just went with the flow and I really love how it came out it's really cute um so I used this unicorns and rainbows paper that I picked up at Joanne's a couple days ago and the paper let me just give you a quick flip through if you are into rainbows and unicorns it is really cute and really happy very summery you get all the popsicles and it has a lot of glitter pages so it's really really cute for summer little girl i don't know i just fell in love with the paper and so my niece is having an, an unicorn birthday and i thought it would be really cute to make her a little album that she can put her pictures on so this is the cover um here i just tickle the unicorn horn to give her a little shine and the flowers that i'm using are from the paper studio and those were flowers sent to me by my friend sandy so thank you sandy and then this little charm here or this little tassel was sent to me by jorlis recently so i love how sweet it is it has the little hearts and then this also i added uh, this little unicorn here and this little unicorn charm i got in peru so it's really cute i just had the one and it was so perfect for this project here so i think this looks cute hanging from the side so what I did here is I did a lot of different pages, different sizes, so they can kind of overlap. And so from the front, you can see a lot of detail, all the layers. So I love how that looks. And then from the bottom, you can see all these laces and these laces are all in different pages. So let me show you that. Here it says happy birthday. I put this cute little flower, um, little trim that again this one is from peru the laces are mostly from either joanne's or peru as well and then here i have some bling so the first page is this little unicorn and this is actually kind of like a pocket page a little envelope page so i have here these little tags that we can write something on like on this first one i'm gonna write a message for her and and all the other ones she can just add pictures look at the beautiful paper it's so shiny so she can add or her mommy can add a couple pictures here and there so this is the first page that it's a little pocket and let me just put this one right here so here's the lace and i love how you could see it um like i said layer everywhere so this over here was a project lifeguard that i fuzzy cut out and it says be happy and love the paper the paper is very cute so this little unicorn all i did to him was um i stickle her, her rainbow hair and her corn and her little feet or not how to call that but so i stickle those to give it a little bit of shininess and dimension and then i literally pull all of my pink trims out and i use like a little bit of everything to make it really fun so here i have this pom-pom trim so cute these little bows are from heidi swap and i love projects like this where i can just go on my stash and find a, a lot of cute little like matching glittery things and use my stash finally so i use these little bows are from heidi swap i had them for a long time and then i also have these frames from heidi swap so i use uh one of those i think and so yeah it's really it was really cute so then over here we have a pa uh, pocket and look at the cute little unicorn paper very cute so that tucks in right here and again you can see this lace and this is actually 
from the next page so i have this pretty trim and then more of those flowers from the paper studio and i love how glittery they are they're pink and glittery and has a cute little leaf and then these cupcakes these are also shakers little shaker cupcakes that i had on my stash and i believe they were from michael's uh, so they are these little shaker cupcakes so like i said it was really fun uh, using all of the things that you know that i never get to use <laughs> And then all this fabulous, uh, all this font, I don't know if I use another one. These are Heidi Swap as well. Also from my stash that I had that for at least a year. Uh, over here, this is one of the frames from Heidi Swap and the cute little unicorn paper. This pink rosette that I recently got at Joann's. And this is a cute little bow. And these two little... Um, pieces here that says my favorite and the little card those are from Pro project life little kits that i had and then here i cut a little piece that she can use as a template to cut a picture and just put it behind the frame and then so this page opens up and on the inside i love the polka dot paper i love that the paper was double-sided too that made it really easy to do and then this is one of my favorite pages with the hard glittery page. And then this is Today Was Fun. This is a Mambi sticker and this is also a Mambi sticker. And then behind this little photo mat, there is another little place to journal and or add a note. And here it says fancy. So we can actually put a picture behind the wall. She can put a picture right there and yeah and then here room for picture there as well so that closes up and then on the back again the beautiful unicorn paper the cupcake shaker it was just really fun embellishing this album and she can also put a picture right there i think it'll look really cute with the beautiful on top of it this is another card from project life that was really cute and then here's another flower and i didn't like uh on that flower the center it was kind of it's really cute but it was too shabby for for this album and so i took that out and i just put a cupcake on the center to make it more fun and girlish and so this over here is actually a little envelope that i made and so here she can tag in some um, gift cards or cards or something and then i just punch a circle and use this little hello to kind of use it as a closing spot so in this little envelope we're probably gonna hide a little gift card for her too and then this like i said it was my favorite favorite paper i love it so i didn't want to do anything to it she can put a picture there or you know like a bigger picture even and then here this very pretty trim very fussy uh, little trim there and then this little bow it's actually a tag because this is an envelope uh, that i made kind of looking like an envelope and so i just put this little bow this little bow was sent to me on happy mail so thank you i loved it and here um i just put a foam sticker under to give a dimension so it will stand out and then i love the paper on the back again so this just tucks in right there and you can't really see that it's a pocket so i like that and then the next page this cute little unicorn this one wasn't from the collection this was from a box of valentine let me show you so this was a box of valentine cards and we saved this because my daughters love the unicorns and there's some in here too but then so i just fussy cut out one of the one of the unicorns and i just put it right there and so she can put a picture right behind it too so again i love this pom-pom trim it's so cute and the next page another beautiful paper i think i already showed you this one but i just love it so much and i just put this 
pink flower trim on the top and this is a pink and it looks kind of white but it's pink a pink um pretty lace and another one of those heidi swap little bows and these pages i actually backed them on heavyweight cardstock and then the, this page and this page because i wanted these two back pages to be more sturdy so it gives the album a lot more stability and then these are the last two so again with the pretty trim and i love how the trim on the back carries to the front and it looks like a little skirt like a little tutu and a little flower rosette here and then it says shine and of course you can put a picture here and then more of the pretty flowers but these ones are white the other ones were pink and so yeah so it looks like she's gonna be on a cloud here on the sky and here is this cute little unicorn going through the rainbow and i figure she's probably not gonna want to put a picture there and then i put um this fuzzy pom-pom trim so it makes it look like clouds and more of these and this is a different trim that already came with the pink lace and this one's actually white and yeah so that is my little unicorn album this is another paper that i really love how shiny it is and i just put my name on the back and i love how you can see the lace from every angle so i really hope that you guys like this i hope that she's gonna love it and i hope that i was able to inspire you today have a wonderful weekend bye bye